Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial and right now we're going to take a look at simply coding a simple Python calculator. So we're going to as always first of all code it in a normal programming and by normal programming I mean without using the actual functions and then as a practice we're going to implement functions where we actually can and where we actually think that we will need it. So. Let us start off by actually opening up our idle as usual. And we're going to code program, so new file. We can move it right here. First of all, save it. So we can actually run it as soon as we finish coding it. So uh, simple Python calculator. A little bit of a long name, but it doesn't even matter. We will save it right there. And let us use a hash as in the previous video. Call it Python program. And simply uh, simple Python calculator. So we actually know what this is once we visit it in a month or two. Right here, uh, let us see what we need to implement. So there are uh, four things that we need to implement. Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. We're actually going to prompt the user for entering two numbers. And then we're also going to prompt the user for uh, deciding whether they want to add those two uh, values, to subtract those two values, to multiply, or to divide those two values. We will also have an actual option uh, if the uh, user wants to exit the program. So then, uh, so they actually have that option as well. So right here, first of all, we're going to code it just like this, print. Uh, first option will be addition. The second option, we can actually code it to be subtraction. So let me just code it right here to dot and then subtraction. Okay. The third option, right now what we're doing is we're basically just specifying uh, the options that the user will have with this program. So multiplication. This is really, really simple uh, calculator, so not really anything useful, but this is a calculator that we're going to code. Of course, later on, we're going to code more advanced calculator if we want. No, for now, this will be more than enough. As we are still in the beginner section, we basically just covered the basics. And right now we're covering uh, functions, which can actually be basics, but let's say it is a little bit more intermediate because it is mostly used in a larger codes. After we finish with functions, regex, uh, classes, object-oriented programming, and different stuff, we're actually going to go into networking, uh, into uh, creating files, using Excel, PDF, all those different kinds of stuff, in actually interacting with the web applications, and more advanced stuff later on. For now on, we're actually learning the basics. So let us go with the fourth option. Not really sure why I even told you this, but just to make sure that you know that this is not actually everything we're going to code, there will be more advanced stuff later on. So the fourth option is division and the fifth option will be an exit option because we want to specify to the user that they can exit the program whenever they want, because at the end, we're going to put everything in a while true loop as we did in the previous video. So first thing, after we print all of this, uh, we can actually enter the while true loop right away. Okay, let me just check out the yeah, while true loop. And then first thing we, uh, we prompt the user is to enter the choice whether they want to subtract or divide. So uh, choice will be equal to integer. So integer right here, we want to make an input function and in the input function we're going to prompt the user to enter choice two dots right now once they enter the actual choice we need to make sure to check if the choice is between one and four uh, then we're going to proceed with actually calculating the stuff. If it is a fifth choice, that means that they actually want to exit the program. Therefore, there really isn't no point with going through all of those addition subtraction code. We can just specify the exit function. So else 
or first of all, if the choice choice is uh, smaller or equal, let me just find where the actual equal sign is. Yeah, really interesting. Can't seem to find it. Let me just go back to different type of actual uh, keyboard. Okay, so if it now the reason why I'm switching with these keyboards and all of this stuff and mistaking different uh, characters is because I'm actually used to Linux on my laptop and it is a little bit different keyboard there. That's why I'm missing so many times. So pardon me for that. So first of all, if choice is bigger or equal to actual uh, one and choice is uh, smaller or equal to four, we want to proceed with the calculations. Let's first of all put this in brackets. Uh, basically this and right here will actually just check for both of these values. If they are both fulfilled, then we're going to proceed with the actual uh, calculation. So if choice is bigger or equal to one and choice is smaller or equal to four, we're going to calculate different stuff. Uh, but before we actually calculate, we're going to prompt the user, first of all, print, oops, enter two numbers. And then we are going to prompt the user to input two different values. So we can call it number one will be equal to actually integer of the input. Make sure that we always use the integer once we actually want to prompt the user for a number because the input function returns string as we already know. So integer input, enter, enter first number and the number two variable. So num2 equals integer input and then enter second number. Simple as that. So enter second number. Okay, once the actual user enters both of these numbers, then we can proceed to checking out what the choice was between one and four. So if choice is equal to one, we're going to simply just uh, add these two numbers because the number one is addition. But let us call the function called addition. This function will take an input of number one and number two. And that is simply the function that we're going to code after we finish this main type of main part of program. So uh, else if choice equals equals to two, that means that the actual uh, choice was subtraction. And then we're going to call subtract function or uh, once again onto the numbers num1 and num2. Okay, subtract and addition. Now, of course, these are not an actual existing functions. We are going to have to call them up here. Uh, but for now, let us just name them like that. Else if choice equals to actual three, that means that the multiplication. So we're going to specify multiplication from the numbers one and numbers two. And the last choice will be uh, uh, the actual, or we can just use else, doesn't have to be else if, because this is the only possible uh, solution. No, pardon me, only, only possible choice left. Uh, we want to perform division, which we can just call divide from number one and number two. Okay, so simple as that. This is our main if part. Now else if, so we are going to tab two steps back, else if the choice was equal to actually five, that means that they want to actually exit the program. Therefore, we're going to just break out of this loop, closing the program. Uh, and the last part else, since we want to cover every possible example, we want to print you entered wrong choice. Because if they actually don't enter anything between one and five, 
that means that they entered a number that is not specified right here, therefore we are going to print to them that they entered a wrong number and that they should enter once again. So then they will go to the beginning right here and they will have to enter the choice once again. So what we are left to do right now is we are going to actually code these four functions. Now they are basically one or two line functions, so don't worry, nothing really too large. So let us start off with the actual uh, addition function. So addition, it will take number one and number two as arguments. And then basically what it will return is it will return a result, which will be the number one plus number two. But in this case, we don't really want to return it. We want to print it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a result variable, even though we can do it a little bit shorter, but doesn't even matter. Result variable will be equal to number one plus number two. And then we're simply going to just print the result. Okay, so basically this is the entire actual addition function. Uh, let me just print it a little bit better so we can just print something like this. The result is, and then we can concat the string of the actual result. Okay. Now, since we finished with the addition, we can go to the subtraction or subtract, however we call it. However, we called it or you called it. If you didn't call it the same as I did, it is also going to take number one and number two. And it will perform same thing as in the upper part of the function. Just right now, we're going to subtract these two numbers. So number one minus number two. And then we're going to print the result is, and we're going to concat the string value of the actual result. Okay. Let's just copy this right here. So then if we actually code it two more times, we can just paste it and change what we need. The uh, third function will be the actual multiplication. So define multiplication. Again, number one and number two. And right here we can paste these two, oops, not here. Just delete this. I didn't want to paste it there. I wanted to paste it right here. Okay, good. And then we actually want to multiply these two values. So the multiply, we use the actual star sign right here. And then we can print this same thing. And the last function that we need is going to be the actual division or divide function. As we called it, make sure to call it the same as you specified right here. Otherwise you will get an error. So it will take the input of the number one and number two. And simply we can just, mm, let me just, see why is it once again printing it right here. Okay. For some reason it is printing it in this section right here, but doesn't even matter. In order to divide these two numbers, we use a slash. And then the result is the string of the results right here. So let me just save this program right here. And then we can actually test it right away. So run the program, run module, we have our four, or pardon me, five available options. If we, let's try to exit it right away. The exit option works. So let us run it once again. Uh, let's start with the addition. So enter two numbers, enter first number three and four. The result is seven. Then we are prompted once again to enter the choice since we are in a while true loop. Let's go with the subtraction. Let's go with the 10 as a first number and actually two. The result is eight, so that one works as well. The multiplication, let us go with 100 and 100. The result is 10,000, which is correct. And the last one will be the division, which we can just simply try out for the 27 and five. So we can actually see whether we get a decimal value and we indeed do 5.4. And that means all our available options work. If we specify five once again, we managed to actually close the program itself. 
Let us also check one more value, which I forgot to check. What happens once we specify, uh, for example, seven as a choice, you entered wrong choice. Okay, so that one works as well. So our program works really well. It is nothing really too uh, far-fetched, but it does the work. So we will just keep it right here and we will continue with a different example in the next lecture. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.